The Black Cab, London's unofficial mascot, now drives through the city electrically. How bad the old cabs were. The noise, you know, the diesel engine, the, the discomfort, you're cramped up. This is so smooth. Obviously, the most important thing is that we've got zero emissions. They still manage to retain the, the iconic look about it. This is probably uh, one of the most recognised vehicles in the world. Exactly like the black runabouts that dotted the London cityscape for over a century. The best of the old traditions, but married with new technology. It holds a special place in the, in, in, in the hearts of, uh, of many people. Peter Powell has driven a cab in London for 27 years, and he loves his job. It's quite unique, really, because you're in charge of yourself all the time. You, you've got the freedom to go out to work to suit your lifestyle. Driving through London in one of those iconic black cabs is special even today. We retain the tradition of the London Black Cab. We've always been voted the, the best taxi service in the world. The traditions, we don't want it to die out. The taxi is, uh, an, is an icon, like the old red phone boxes and the buses. Despite his love of tradition, Peter is happy that he swapped his diesel cab for an electric one. How smooth it is and how comfortable it is. Uh, it, it takes a lot of the stress out of your day. This is so smooth, you've got the regen braking that makes it lovely and smooth and everything. The, the whole ride experience is fantastic. LEVC, the company that now builds the electric cabs in a new factory near Coventry, has shaped the London taxi trade since 1908. Using the technical underpinnings of an Austin, they develop the boxy body variants of the famed London cabs. The FX4, introduced in 1958, was the company's most popular model and the one all its successors have been based on. But the 2008 emission regulations for central London sounded the death knell for the cult diesel-powered taxi. But LEVC reacted fast with a completely new EV production line, supported by Chinese car maker Geely. Project manager Lloyd Bonson and his team developed an electric London taxi, bringing the venerable British icon into the future. We've continued to invest um, in the taxi product to make it the best taxi in the world and the world's only purposefully designed taxi. It's not a vehicle that's converted from a van or from a car or from a minibus. It's the only vehicle in the world that is designed with a clean sheet of paper to meet the requirements uh, of being a taxi. The London conditions of fitness are some of the most stringent taxi regulations in the world. And the new electric model, the TX, traces its DNA back to the FX from 1958. We've kept the look the same, so things like the proportions around the headlights, the grille, keeping that very, that, that very traditional look, and we've kept that on the new TX. The round circular headlights, that quite uh, upfront stately grille, the proportions along the side of the vehicle, the, the long bonnet. We have that swooping roof line at the back of the vehicle. And then inside, we've kept the concept of the interior much the same. In London, keeping the well being of passengers in mind is mandatory. London's requirements are very strict in terms of the vehicle length, the vehicle width, but there's also requirements for it to be wheelchair accessible. London was one of the first cities in the world to make wheelchair accessibility uh, mandatory. 
on taxis in, in 1989. So we have to be able to fit a wheelchair. There has to be a ramp for the wheelchair. There's a step. These regulations are very, very restrictive. Great importance is also attached to comfort. There's a requirement for the minimum distance between the seats so that there's uh, space for people to sit facing each other and there has to be a sufficient headroom. The folklore is that that was put in place because of people with, with top hats and bowler hats um, to be able to get in. And a car that transports passengers in the British capital also has to be right up there in terms of technology. London's requirements are very strict. The turning circle, so how far we can, we can turn around in the road, how quickly we can do that. The turning circle is 8.8 .8 meters turning circle and that's because of the uh, turning point at the Savoy Hotel. The Savoy Hotel has a very, very tight entry. We are now going into Savoy Court. We come in on the right-hand side as opposed to the left. This is the only road in the UK where you're supposed to drive on the wrong side of the road. This is, uh, yeah, this is ideal. The taxi is ideal for this because we've got a 25-foot turning circle. Now, the concierge here will probably want to let you out. The latest regulation that affects the taxi trade in London, only cars with emission-free powertrains can now be registered for passenger transport which has had a huge influence on the black cabs. So where we see the biggest changes are underneath the bonnet. And if we look on the old vehicle, we see there a four cylinder diesel engine, very much, uh, uh, you know, very much of its time in the, in the late eighties, um, but quite noisy, quite rattly, um, not a very good customer experience compared to what we have now in the new TX, where under the bonnet is everything to generate electricity. A small fuel-based range extender can charge the battery if necessary. The 110 kilowatt electric motor is built directly into the rear axle. In order to keep the tall vehicle's center of gravity as low as possible, the batteries are tucked away in the floor panels and the entire body is made of aluminum. The individual components are not riveted or welded, but rather glued together in a complex process. It's a bonded aluminium chassis, which originally comes from the aircraft industry, so uh, planes like the Airbus A320 are built this way. On top of that, we put composite panels, um, and to get the, the, the expertise in that type of, uh, of body design, um, we ended up with engineers who, with experience in Formula One and other motorsports to come in and help design and engineer the product. And the engineers also managed to build a huge glass roof into the aluminum body. This allows passengers to get to know the city even better. A London cabbie often doubles as a tour guide. And this is the Admiralty Arch in front of you, where the Admiralty used to be. But uh, they've sold the building and they're now turning it into a huge hotel. They love the glass roof, absolutely love it. You go like places, see through the top, they're taking pictures all the time. Sometimes, yeah, so they can have a little look until they're fed up. I'll go around all day. There are currently 6,500 TX models from LEVC on the road in London, and almost half of all London cabs are now electric. The battery capacity is enough for 130 kilometers, or the equivalent of eight hours of stop and go traffic. Loading the battery to 80% at a fast charger takes half an hour. But being forced to take those breaks doesn't bother Peter Powell at all. Have a walk around, clean the cab. You know, it's ideal for giving it a wipe down. Good I'm good very, good. very happy from the day I first sat in the driving seat of one of these, the very first day, I knew that I was going to buy one. I've had quite a few taxis. I've 27 years in this job. 
even though this is a, a very um, up-to-date vehicle, it's iconic, retain the iconic look. And we need to keep that iconic look. The electric London cab. A great example of how British tradition lives on and motors emission-free and innovatively into the future. What do you think of London's e-cabs? Let us know in the comments below.